Wow. Wow what? That's all I have to say. What a good intro. Ten what out of ten. a great week you guys oh. have given us. Oh. The last time we recorded one of these community videos, we were like, yeah, we got 11,000 views on a video. That video is now at 200,000 views. Mm. And our every video in this series has reached 100,000 views. The snipper clip series I'm talking about. Yeah. Holy shit. You guys sure like to see paper fuck. You do. And we like making paper fuck. Yeah, that's, that's true. Oh, such a great week. And we'd like Spicy. to thank all of you out there, all of, especially all of you new subscribers. Welcome yeah. to the channel. We hope you, to you. hope you enjoy your time here. Here on yeah. Jaltoid Media. And if you're wondering what the heck this video is, it's one of our community videos where we answer your questions that you leave on and write down in those those comments. Question. Would you guys consider hiring an editor? We've considered it and probably not. Main reason being I like editing the videos mm. and it, we want to keep it kind of our thing. But if it ever came time where it would just become a burden on what we wanted to do and it was taking up most of the process of the creative things we want to do, maybe, if we could afford it. But, oh. and this doesn't mean, this doesn't mean we want people to offer help for free. That's not what this is about. We need someone who wants to treat it like a job, is willing to give us the hours we need and the time we need. And we just can't even fathom asking anyone to do that for free. And we want someone who will take it as seriously as we do. So if it ever pops up, it would be a paid job. But right now we're not, it's kind of off the table right now, maybe in the future. A uh, quick disclaimer before we move on to any other questions. Uh, I'm anticipating the uh why doesn't the girl show her face wow that's because i get anxious when i get on camera and i don't like to be on camera if you want to see my face so bad follow us on twitter and look through our tweets and media and shit because i post pictures of my face so there you go and don't look up some old shit that's like how many years old when i look like a like a plum any tips for artists who want to make it big and how to become a good artist practice man everybody's always tired like, of hearing that but that is literally like the most important advice that you can give to somebody the right practice though like don't immediately jump into drawing cartoons but what they tell you in art class you should be drawing fruit and all this boring stuff but to really understand why you draw things a certain way you have to know how to draw period like you need to know how to draw something realistic and then you can simplify it down usually styles come out way better when when you simplify something that was once complicated versus someone who just kind of observed how to do it, someone else's style, you can, I don't know, it, you can just kind of tell when someone does that. It's also important. People are like, oh, you shouldn't trace and you shouldn't heavily reference. Well, when you're first starting out, that's totally cool. Make sure, you know, you grow out of it and make sure that if you end up posting it, if you absolutely have to post it, that you credit and you are given permission. But yeah, tracing and referencing is good because it helps you try to figure out stuff and then you build upon that and you just kind of like take what you learned from referencing and all that and try to apply it to something completely different. But Don't looked super high at the start well you kind of always look high i don't know why everybody i don't know everyone high. says that i've never it's your eyes you you have the lowered eyelids so you always look stoned well let's see this do i look it now yeah god no. you got great teeth. i i'm a very sober person i don't he even doesn't do drugs i don't even drink. drink alcohol like i don't even do the legal <laughs> shit so it's like just not my thing i'm very work centric it's it's weird. I know people think it's weird, but not everyone who's having a good time has to be on something. When do you think you'll make another Joltoid cartoon? Also, you should get Oni as a guest for the Lazy Cast. Just make sure to bring up the tickle porn you never sent. <laughs> Wait, we never. Did we mention that we found tickle porn of him and Zach and never sent it to him? Uh, yeah, we I, must have. Oh, jeez. I didn't know we ever mentioned that on like a stream or Wasn't anything. Wasn't it on like DeviantArt or yeah. some shit? Of course mm -hmm. it was. Um, but yeah, we've asked him to be on the podcast. He's, you know, he's busy right now. He's doing other things. So it just, it's really up to him whether or not he wants to be on the podcast. But it's always open if he ever wants to be there. And as far as doing animations go, never assume we're not animating. You can assume. You can assume all you want. But just because we're not posting just don't assume we're not doing it i mean we could be doing it like, you never know there's so many people that think we're dead question do you find any of your videos cringy uh yes sometimes um most of them no, okay no, not, me not personally most of them. we go back to like the old animations even like girl gamer girl gamers i'm uglier all of those i hate them i hate them so 
much. They're going to break up one day. Oh yeah? Yeah. Is that so? Put the, put this right up in the lens. You think we're gonna break up? Huh? What the fuck is that then? My huh? hand is black right there. Wow. The fuck is that? Give me it back. I don't like being without it. You know what? You know what? We're through. We're oh, done now. Shit. I guess it's over, guys. It's Jaw over. Toy is over. Jaw toy is over. Jaw toy is over. We're done. Zero out of ten. Would not play again. Get out of here. Yeah, okay. I have nowhere to go. You have to keep me here. <laughs> mm, almost. almost nice try though thanks thanks for having my back so i've recently entered a long distance relationship and i was wondering how long did it take you guys to meet up in real life it took maybe about a year and a half two years it, it really depends uh long distance relationships are really really complicated mm. and i don't wish that on anyone like literally so. on facebook i had our relationship status set to it's complicated yeah because it is complicated it sure but, was Damn. um you know stay in contact as much as you can yeah. during the long distance and just yeah. work towards that goal and don't be afraid to take any opportunity when i first went to go meet emmy i didn't it, even though i was excited to see her i almost turned around I almost did and that's it had nothing to do with me not wanting to see her. I was just scared yeah, I'd never been anywhere by myself thing. before and I went by I went alone and then you'll mm -hmm. never forget it And it'll be great. How tall are you two about six foot tall? I'm a five-foot baby. Why don't I go all twang it for this? I really answer? don't know. What's your favorite subway trademark sandwich? BMT Tea? Yeah, he likes BMT, actually. Why, why are we asking this Whatever, question? Whatever, this is actually very good because, listen, oh, remember when we made the Subway video? That shit is legit as hell. If I already have anxiety before we go to Subway, I'm fucked. But sometimes I get anxiety while we're doing Subway. But also, you remember how I didn't want, like, tomatoes and I didn't want it toasted at first? And we made that a point? Yeah, I like that shit now. But we went to Subway the other day, and this fucking lady, she's like, lettuce, tomato, onion? And I'm like... <gasps> Yes, and she just, she's, it was smooth sailing after that. She read my mind. That, that was scary, but it did snap me out of my anxiety, so, yeah. Who draws all of the thumbnail art? I do, and she does. We both do. Both of us do. Both of us do. Let me just, uh, say it, just scream for the people. Both of us draw all of the art for all of the channels. So on Twitter, this guy named Felix tweets at us. <laughs> this guy named <laughs> oh, no, Felix. We should say it like that. If you guys remember, YouTube raised the bar on when you can monetize your videos and you need 10,000 lifetime views. And we were sharing a story of ours where we had 100,000 views on one of our animations that was demonetized. We didn't get a penny of that. Mm -mm. And I'm trying to, you know, empathize with people saying it's okay to miss out on some of that revenue when you first start out. It's okay. And this guy <laughs> named Felix replies to the comment. <laughs> He, he kind of misunderstood it because we were, we were talking about something in 2012. He said this. What did he say, Emmy? According to YouTube, the money that was made during X time of the claim will be returned to you. Yeah, he said that. And what did we say back to him? Ahem. Well, hey there, Felix. This was before they had the policy in 2012. Like the new icon, by the way. Didn't think that was you for a sec, lol. Felix is PewDiePie. PewDiePie talk to us. We're important now. Oh shit, lol. Well, never mind then. Also, thanks. Our icons kind of match in a strange way. I'm still trying to figure that out, but you know, if you think so, that's fine. And Lee said, soon it will be all over our notifications. There are a lot of fake PewDiePies that follow us and change their icons when you do. Take this. You'll know what to do. <laughs> we memed with PewDiePie for a moment. Is it? Just let that sink in. We made that video kind of making fun of his fans and oh, him yeah, his fan a little base. bit. Listen. And now we're memeing with him on Twitter. That video was based off of actual comments, okay? It wasn't directed at PewDiePie, even though I did all of the screams for him. But I mean, listen, he knows. He knows he screamed a lot. I okay? think. It was all in good fun. He it could was take all in a good joke. Jest. He could take he a could joke. Take the joke. He could take the he joke. He took the joke. I don't know if he even knows. He probably that we didn't existed. take the joke because he never saw the video. Probably which not. Don't don't look at the video. Don't. Halt, halt now, Judy Pie. Don't look at the Did video. You just fucking like okay. Judge Judy. No, not like, not no, like, you're not making this happen. Scare Judy Pie coming soon to the YouTube originals. Yeah, what's it about? It's about Judge Judy being scared and being chased by giant baloney. Yeah. Baloney! And then the baloney bursts through the wall, chases her. Judgment for the plank did for the amount of $4,000. We'll see you guys next week. So if you guys have any questions you want us to answer next week, leave them in the comment section below. And hey, while you're still here, check out some of the videos around me. They're really nice. I recommend this one. 
I bet it's nice. Check it out. Is it gonna be over there? <laughs> Check it out. <laughs>